Hi there and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today I just wanted to briefly introduce to you a tool that I have found to help make the transition for iOS users to the Windows 10 environment. There is not much that I miss going from uh, this older MacBook Pro Retina to my Surface Book 2, but one of the things that I did in fact miss uh, was Finder. I loved the column view. I thought it was great for quickly navigating through files and folders, looking at previews of images, uh, even previews of documents, and I was... I don't know. I, I had to relearn a lot. And that was one thing that I just kept coming back to and like, you know, I kind of missed that one part in iOS. It was not enough for me to go out and return this and get a MacBook, though. That's... no. Um, so I figured you know, someone else must have thought the same thing I did when Windows 10 was released. I'm going to go spending, spend a little bit of time on the internet and find out what alternatives may exist. And it turns out that I actually found a program called One Commander. And One Commander is a tool that you can get for free and pay for pro features if you so chose, but you don't need to, uh, to essentially get a column uh, Windows File Explorer uh, setup that is actually quite powerful and good if you are needing to quickly navigate through large directories of files. So if you are making that transition between these two operating systems and really feel that that would be an increase to your workflow, I strongly recommend that you check this tool out. Even though it was developed uh, a few years ago, it is still in active development with its newest release, actually only a few days old from the release of this video, about a week. And there are some really solid features in there. Uh, they allow different customizations of the screen. They allow different customizations of the colors and backgrounds. If you prefer uh, dark to a light background um, for battery life, your eyes, working in the dark, whatever. And there's just a lot of really excellent features and if you want to show your financial support to this tool I believe it was only on the order of uh, say four uh, to six dollars depending on your currency and it allows you to install the program up to onto eight different computers so that's a a pretty pretty good deal I think so if you think that the pro features would be of benefit to you or if you want to show support to this developer and I think they've done a fantastic job, then maybe consider throwing some money their way. Is it a perfect replacement? No, but it's under development, still getting better, and I would imagine that the developers are very receptive uh, to getting your feedback. So if you want, say, gesture controls or two-pinch zoom on pictures, which as far as I could tell, had not been added yet, then that might be a good thing to just put a bug in their ear about and say, hey, you know, this is a great tool. If you did this, it would make it even better. If you enjoy this sort of content, and if you're curious to know about some of the software that I've been bumping into to help make the transition between these two machines, please let me know in the comments below. If you have a particular tool or system that you've enjoyed using on the Mac and you're trying to find uh, a similar platform on Windows or maybe even another operating system. Let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to do some digging and find out what I can. And as always, if you uh, really enjoy this content, you think what I'm producing here is valuable information, then I would encourage you to subscribe by hitting that red button down there below. It uh, helps me out, it shows that you support the channel and that I can continue investing my time and resources into producing content for you. Thanks and I'll see you next time.